They get a little bit healthier today, getting Jenkins back at tackle and the rookie Myers back at center. Rodgers looks to throw on the first play of the day. Now he'll take off with all kinds of room to roam. And he's got a first down to the 45. Already in the Bears territory. On second and four, Rodgers' first throw finds Adam Lazard. And he's got a first down to the 35. On third and ten, Bears getting home with Khalil Mack, who has come to life again for Chicago. And they get their first sack of the day, knocking them back to the 45. See if they can find a way to keep it going. First down, first throw for Fields. He's got the tight end, Cole Komet. Greg Olson's in the building. Of course, the tight end gets involved right away over the gain of 15. Yeah, or he said that early on in his career, too, there was times he'd come in and it'd be like up to his ankle. Builds character. Let's this one rip and right in the money for Darnell Mooney. As the year's gone on, the system has started to click. First third down, there's Robinson dropped in the bucket for a Bears first down. And how about an empty set? This is very un-Bears like from the last couple weeks. Fields given time to step into a throw. It's into the end zone and the flag flies. Wanted good win and he got ripped to the ground by Adam. This is a little Pass different style. Defense number 24. Off place at the one yard line. Automatic. First down. Right there, boy, up. And a jumbo tight end. Jumbo tackle in at tight end here. It's Herbert. Sticks the nose down and gets in. Touchdown Chicago. And it's the rookie striking first. On second and seven, Rodgers in trouble and sacked for the second time today. This time it's Robert Quinn. Fields hands it off on first down. Khalil Herbert, couple of cuts into the clear. And the rookie across the 35 with a big gain on the first play of the drive of 23 yards. Converted third down on their first drive. On third and five here, Fields pumps. Runs, won't quite get there. A yard short. Well, they got a lot of defensive backs. Out of the gun on fourth and short. It's Herbert straight ahead. Got spun down right at the marker by Amos. It'll depend on the spot, but the safety comes up and makes it very close. Looks like they've spotted him with just enough for a Chicago first down. Fields. Sets his feet, heaves one deep with nobody home, it's picked off! Darnell Savage the interception! And third and seven to open the second. Out of an empty set they bring four. Quick trigger over the middle, it'll be close. As he found the tight end, Tunyon. It's a quarterback sneak and a first down. And sometimes why overthink it, right? Let's keep it simple. Kind of give Alec Ogletree a little bit of a break with inside backer. Yeah, it's been a starter. Each of his first five seasons with the Bears. Here's Devontae Adams getting loose for the first time. A big gain inside the 25 for the NFL's best. Aaron Rodgers loves him. Adams out on his second down play. Big hole for Jones who sets up first and goal for the Packers. On third and goal. Jones comes in motion. Flipped ahead, into the end zone, touchdown! It's Alan Lazard and a shovel pass from Rodgers. How about that design? Third down and nine, Fields works out of an empty set. He's given time. Coverage downfield is tight. And nowhere to go with it. Thrown down by Jonathan Garvin. And it's fourth down. Three of them, you mentioned Hackett, the offensive coordinator. Matt LaFleur is, of course, the play caller, and Rodgers kind of blending their styles all together for this offense. A.J. Dillon on first down with a big run, and he breaks into the secondary. Second-year man at a Boston College. Offense has gotten things going after the slow start. Play action here on second down. It's a screen that they drop off to Jones. He turns the corner, lowers the shoulder, and makes it first and goal. Packers back into the red zone here. First down and goal. Back to A.J. Dillon, who gets blown up by Quinn. Robert Quinn, a resurgent year. Really having the kind of year they hoped that he would. Third down and goal from the 15-yard line. 
Rodgers well protected. Back of the end zone. Up top and a touchdown. No, they're going to say he's out of the back of the end zone. St. Brown celebrating what he too thinks is a touchdown. Okay, there you go. Okay, they changed it. Offense. It'll be a 10-yard penalty for the previous spot. You see St. Brown here. Huh. Also, how is it called out of bounds? I don't know why they called that incomplete. Take the penalty. Now, what was the rule of touchdown? Rodgers quickly into the hands of Adams, and they'll get what they can. Center things for the Crosby field goal attempt. Yeah, Mason Crosby had made 27 in a row before he missed three down the stretch in an overtime last week for ultimately hitting the game winner from 49. This is from 39. And it gives the Packers their first lead of the day. Devondre Campbell stopped him short, but great effort to get the first down. Back to the air on first down. He puts this one in the money to Marquise Goodwin. First down at the 35. Second and eight. Fields with a straight drop. Scrambles to his right. Floats one down the field. Again up for grabs and picked. But out of bounds. See Amos, he's got it there, he's his left toe down, it's hard to say. Right foot's really close. To take a delay after a long break in action is unconventional. He's in trouble and pulled down back at midfield. He somehow stays on his feet. Superman stuff. Now they blow it down. All right, Pam is... Fields ducks under center, certainly showing flashes again of what the Bears and their fans are so excited about. Starts the second half with a handoff and a big run for Herbert. A gain of a dozen for Khalil Herbert. Fields back to throw, in trouble, right into the arms of the defense and down. It was Jonathan Garvin who's having a productive day for the Packers. From the 10 yard line, they go with a Rodgers pass. It's Devontae Adams, his third catch, a first down. Packers happy to have him wrapped up long term. That four year extension that he signed this spring says Green Bay's become home. He's got the ball here. He surges through the hole and explodes across the 40. Still going near midfield for Aaron Jones. Well, that helps too. In live speed, that's going to be a penalty. And Jones, for the most part, has done a really good job. On Adams today, off play action, into the flats they go for the tight end, Lewis. And he's crunched for the ninth play of the drive. Rodgers to throw, it's Jones, a first down. Aaron Jones, tracked down by Kamara, but he gets a first down on a gain of 12. Play action again. Rodgers given all day. Underneath again, Jones. A stiff arm to get free. Aaron Jones into the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, just threw Gibson off him and then accelerated for the score. Second down. Fields to throw again. Zips this one for Mooney. And a first down. Good anticipation. Good throw. And again... You mentioned it in the first half, but at Ohio State, his final season, 41 touchdowns to just three picks. That's Herbert tiptoe on the sideline and getting a first down. Of course, they didn't complete it, but it still has an effect on the defense. I've seen a few more of those shots today. Here's third and seven. Fields rolling. Let's it go and complete. And it's fourth down. Second down, 10. Quick throw this time, and it's Rodgers turning the corner. Well, the rookie out of Clemson with his first catch since week one. So a big third and nine coming here. Bears show pressure and bring it. Getting to Rodgers for the third time today. It's Akeem Hicks. Well, they didn't know if they'd have today. He missed last week with a groin injury. Play traditional quarterback and start playing some time rhythm passing game. Run, run, pass on these three downs. Fields turns the shoulders, lets it rip for Robinson. First down to the 45. That this staff believes they've been seeing out of Fields the last few weeks. We've seen it now within this game. Play action on first down. He steps into this one and has Cole Komet with another confident strike. 20-2 as a Buckeye. Back-to-back -back college football playoff appearances. 
Fakes it here. Rolls. Sets. Scans and now runs and he's got room. There's some of that speed and athleticism. First down to the 15. 35 for the Bears. He goes off the right side. Fields looking in zone. Wide open. Touchdown. Mooney. Second down and 10, Rodgers looks to throw. He's got Lazard. Well, they were hoping to get Alan Lazard going again, and Packers got him off of the Jacksonville practice squad. He's been a good player for him in his few seasons. Second down and 10, Bears trying to collapse that pocket. Rodgers has Adams wide open. He stays on his feet, down the sideline. Devontae Adams is in. Touchdown, Green Bay. And now one of the officials runs up. They come together. And they're going to say that he was out back at the 21. So a 40-yard gain. Adams wins that route. You see what he does there to Jalen Johnson. He tries to come up and press him. What an unbelievable release. He kind of swipes his hand. Rodgers snaps it quick. Pressure coming. Scrambles to his right. Pumps and runs. Aaron Rodgers is inside the pylon. Touchdown Packers. It's Rodgers running for the score. Right on cue, Joe. Four receivers to the top. Lone man in the bottom, Cole Komet. Fields in trouble. Able to keep it alive and take off. That's a first down for Justin Fields. See more of that today than at any point in his young NFL career. Coming into the NFL circles, the rules make it a little more challenging. So first down and long. A rhythm throw there for Mooney, and they get a bunch of it back. They look to throw again. He's in trouble and sacked by Kenny Clark. One of the top interior linemen in the NFL gets to Fields way back. Third down 15. Packers bring in an extra man. Fields in trouble. And sacked again by Clark again. He did the one thing you really couldn't afford for him to do. And it drives him all the way back to the 48-yard line. And now it's fourth and 25 or the game's over. I mean, the miracle here. Fields back. Well, he'll let things develop. There's a flag down. Fields lofting one down the field towards the end zone and incomplete. Probably a hold anyways. He's been a thorn in the side of this Bears team and barring some drastic change, it feels like, it feels like he's going to do it again. A.J. Dillon. He's definitely progressed since the last time we saw him. They've got to keep him on this track as the year goes on. Dillon again. And he's got a first down. Straight ahead with Dillon. And A.J. Dillon runs hard. Gets another first down. So 24-14, the final score. Matt LaFleur improves to 13-1 inside the division in his career as head coach.